This is All Music and All Bands, and we're talking with Rob DeLuca, bassist for Spread Eagle, UFO, and Sebastian Bach. Thanks for taking the time to conduct this interview. My pleasure, Rob. Nice to, nice to talk to you. How are you? I'm doing very good. Um, yeah. Rob, for those unfamiliar with yourself and the bands you've played with, would you please give us some background? Yeah, I play. Um, I was one of the uh, founding members of Spread Eagle. And um, we we released some records in the 90s, and then we went away for a while, and we're back together, and we're doing a new record for Frontiers right now. And uh, I've been playing with UFO for the last 10 years plus, and I've been playing with Sebastian Bach for the last 13 years. And I also sing and play for a band called Other in New York City. Um, how is the new Spread Eagle CD coming along? Really, really good. It's it's just what our fans want. It's aggressive. It's heavy, um, and it's. I think well, I ch- I tried as hard as possible to go back to where we kind of started, um, and of course you can never do that and and be for and be genuine, you know, because people grow and change. But I did want to get some of that original fire back that I felt we lost and um and I think we're doing it. Uh, we've we tracked we had 18 songs and we cut it down to 17 and we tracked drums and bass on 17 and now we're doing guitars and we're about halfway done the guitars and we're going to start vocals after that. And it's uh coming out really really well. I'm I'm very proud of it. Could you name uh some of the tracks that are going to be on the new album? No, we're not we're not given any titles yet. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's uh, fine. Cuz it's not going to be out till 2019 on Frontiers SRL Records and right. uh so there'll be a lead up to it where we start releasing information and and uh promoting it, but it's just too early right now. Um does everyone contribute to the writing uh process? Yeah, yes, everyone does. I mean, we all everyone has their strengths and uh and they're all different and they all add up to make the complete picture, but we all write, and definitely with Spread Eagle, uh, it is a band of, of four strong individuals, and uh, and and I like that. Everyone contributes, whether it be writing or something else, everyone contributes something special, but we all do write also. Is there going to be touring and support after its release? Absolutely, yes. We're going to tour, and uh, we... Um, actually, you know, we formed in 19, you know, we, our rec- first record was released in 1990. And surprisingly, we, we went to Europe for the first time in 2017. <laughs> so, uh, we'll go over there again and we'll do more, more U- U.S. shows. And yeah, we're gonna, we want to tour as much as possible. And hopefully with this new record, that'll open up a lot of doors for us for touring. Um, how um, how is the Sebastian Bach tour uh, going? Oh, it's great. I mean, we just finished a long one, like about six weeks in U.S. and Canada, and now we have two months off, and we go back out uh, for a nice long one. Um, I think that starts in the end of September. Um, so yeah, it's it's going great, and the band kicks ass. And, Baz is such a killer front man, and uh, and we've been doing it for a long time, so we're pretty damn tight. Um, will you, are you going to be recording any new material with Sebastian Bach? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I think he does have plans to do a new record, and, and he's starting to talk about it, but I haven't heard anything about it, so I don't have any details. But I'm sure he will, um, but I don't have any details. Um, what have been your favorite shows from this past uh, Sebastian Bach tour? I would say the craziest fan reaction was from uh, French Canada. So that would be Quebec City and Montreal. They were just wild. Those people just <laughs> they rock like like they're from South America or something. It's just crazy up there. They love their rock and roll, and it's a, it's just amazing to play there. So, you know, I like playing everywhere, and all the fans are great, but I would have to say they were the best on that on that tour. Now, uh, 
I understand that UFO is doing a farewell tour uh, beginning in March uh, of next year over in England and in Europe. Uh, could you uh, talk about that, please? Yeah, it's uh, Phil Mogg announced that he's done, and he's he just turned 70, and he's put out about 23 studio albums and I don't know how many live albums, and he just decided, you know, he's he's going to take a break from it or stop it and i i respect that because he's uh he's been to the fire of ufo since 1969 so um so we're going to start our farewell 50th anniversary tour uh in march in england and then we're going to do some shows in europe um i believe there may be some festivals but i haven't had any confirmation on that and hopefully we'll do us in 2019 also um and that's going to be it i don't know if it's going to last until early 2020 or not um i i don't have any details yet but uh it is bittersweet because it's been a, a amazing run for phil an amazing run for me and uh i strongly suggest you see the band because it is not an oldies reveal it is a fantastic band and it's really powerful uh, still. And it's the three original guys, Phil Mogg, Andy Parker, Paul Raymond, and Vinnie Moore on lead guitar and me on bass. So um, I strongly recommend people to see it for one last time because uh, it's still really, really good. I see some old, some older bands, and it's just like, you know, they just can't put out on that level anymore, and that's understandable, you know old guys but uh, UFO do and it's still very intense um, who have been some of your uh, influences throughout the years well um, I haven't really copied many bass players I probably should have and I probably would be much better off if I had but uh, I think I, I like writing songs so when I, when I have extra time I, instead of like copying riffs off some bass player I'll try to write a song but I do love uh, I really do love Duff McKagan's playing um, I mean he gets a lot of attention but I don't know how much attention he gets for his actual playing and he is a fantastic hard rock bass player um, and I did learn a bunch of those GNR songs uh, you know that's an exception of, of something that I did learn and it's just some fantastic playing. But I also love McCartney and Entwistle and Jaco Pastorius. And I'd say, I have to say my favorite is probably John Paul Jones, though. Even though I don't play anything like him, I would have to say that's my favorite bass playing. Um, other than uh, UFO, Sebastian, and Spread Eagle, you talked about another band that you're currently in. Could you talk about that? Yes. Um, I'm in a band called Of Earth from New York City and I sing and play bass for them and uh and it's it's really fantastic band. It's kind of trippier and more in the Pink Floyd vein. Um and it's really great. However, I haven't been working on it uh lately just because I've been so damn busy with everything else and uh but I will get back to it. And we were, we've released two records and we're uh we have a bunch of material written and recorded for our third record. Um, but again, I've just been so busy. I just want to, when I do it, I want to be thorough about it. And, uh, I haven't been able to do that lately. But that's not because of the level of quality. It's really, really good band. Um, outside of music, do you have any other interests? Well, um, for years I was buying and selling vintage basses which is still music related but it's not about playing music and then i um i had all this information just so i didn't so i think i knew what was authentic and what wasn't and uh i mean just tons of tons of information and originally i had it all in my head but it just became so much and i started writing it down and so then i i, I built this website me and this um german programmer built this website called vintagebaseworld.com and it's 400 web pages with over 10,000 pictures of vintage bases and their components. And it's just, it's for the collector down to the casual 
fan of of basses, and it's got uh, Fender, Rickenbacker, Gibson, um, Music Man, Ampeg, amplifiers, and basses. So, uh, so that's was, I spent a lot of time on that. I build it on the road, and I'm on the road all the time, so I have a lot of time on the road to do something constructive. So it's vintagebaseworld.com. And there's so much information there. It's just insane. It's the largest vintage instrument website in the universe. So check it out. All right. Um, I know UFO is doing the farewell tour. Um, is there any plans of like recording a new album or doing a, some kind of special release to celebrate the 50 year anniversary? I haven't heard anything. And so my, my initial answer would be no. And I hope I'm wrong about that. But, uh, no, all I've heard about is touring to celebrate the 50th. Um, so we'll see on that. I hope so. But it's looking like if I was a betting man, I'd say no. But I could be wrong because, you know, it's basically UFO is Phil's baby. And if he, if he for some reason had a reason to change his mind, um, you know, maybe we would do something. Um who will be involved in uh, creating the set list for the shows? I would say Phil. I mean, you know, vocals is, is such a big part of, of a performance and, and how well you can, you know, nail, nail songs. And if you, you know, all singers like to tailor the list to pace themselves and make it grow, make the set grow, et cetera. So uh, pretty much in every band, the singer – uh, dictates the set list and I'm fine with that anything to make the singer better makes the show better are there any songs um, that you would like to personally add to the set list well we used to do UFO used to do a song called Push to the Limit off the Walk on Water record and that song kicked so much ass and uh, I'd love to see that one come back Um, other than that, other than that, I think we we cover most of my favorites. Uh, is there anything that I haven't covered that you would like to talk about? Not off the top of my head. I mean, I'm pretty busy with all that stuff. Is it not enough? <laughs> <laughs> of course it is, Rob. Of course it is. Yeah. So uh, no, I mean, I'm, I'm I have a nice short break, but it's it's not a break from music. I'm working on the spread record previously and then I go back out with Bach and, and that lasts until November and then I finish up the spread record and uh we'll and hopefully we we'll start booking spread shows in early 2019 I would think we would be and uh because we'll be we'll be delivering the record at the at the end of the year in, in December to Frontiers and uh start with shows with spread next year and then then the, the UFO tour will start and I'm sure there'll be more Bach shows so it's it's hard to fit in much more than that and also have a social life. So <laughs> that's about it. What's the best way for all the fans and everybody to keep up with uh, the new music and the upcoming shows from the uh, UFO tours and uh, everything else that's going on? Well, I'm very easy to find. If you just Google me, uh, you'll find my my website, my Facebook sites, um LovemberRecords.com website, SpreadEagle.us. I'm I'm so easy to find. If you just Google my name, Rob DeLuca, then you'll find out all the information. I just want to say, you know, for people out there, when UFO, Sebastian, and Spread Eagle come to town, definitely get out there and see the show. Definitely, it's well. Thank you, Rob. It's, it's well worth it. Yeah, the the thing that, uh, about my career is all the bands are high energy, quality bands who who deliver live. Like for instance, Bat Sebastian is one of the best frontmen out there. Period. Not just in his genre. He is incredible, and he's such a ball of of fire and energy, and so that's, you know, people go crazy. And then UFO is a completely different kind of power where it's it's more slow and steady and it's more about like these songs they have, this catalog, this extensive catalog of 50 years. 
and it's just as powerful, but in a completely different way. And then spread is some, you know, more like Sebastian with the energy and, you know, and the fire. And uh, no, n- none is better than the other, but they're all just so interesting and, and they're all high quality. So we do, we do bring it live for all of them, definitely. Well, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to, for conducting this interview for All Music and All Bands. My pleasure. Definitely check out All Music, All Bands. Oh, thank you definitely very much. Cool right. Well, thank you very much. Okay, Rob, you take care. Uh, you too. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.